This is where the suspect's joyride in a police cruiser came to an end. Police say the suspect exited the stolen SUV and proceeded to try to carjack a number of drivers who were just driving by. He was still wearing his handcuffs, refusing to surrender to police. This is how a comic book store break-in ended, when the suspect, who can be seen here in this exclusive surveillance video from inside Paradise Comics, managed to break free after being arrested and handcuffed, stealing an idling police SUV with two police dogs inside. This is a crazy movie or a crazy, you know, you see the people running through the backyards with the dogs chasing them and uh, you don't think that's going to... Well, it didn't happen to me, but you don't think it's uh, going to be tied to me in some way, shape or form. It was just after 4 a.m. when police were called to Paradise Comics for a break in. The owner of the shop says this suspect threw a rock through the front window and began carrying out rare vintage comic books. When he was inside for the third time, a police officer from the canine unit arrived and tried to chase him down. The bookstore owner says the suspect made off down this alley behind Young Street and went into the backyard of a home here on Brookdale Avenue as he was being pursued by the canine officer and his dog. The canine officer managed to execute an arrest, putting handcuffs on the front of the suspect, who managed to then break away. Police say the accused ran back to the comic book store and stole the police SUV, which had two police dogs in the back, and began driving south on Young Street before turning west on Lawrence. As the suspect approached Keel, he struck a traffic pole and a number of signs before the vehicle broke down in the parking lot of the Metro grocery store at the corner of Keel and Lawrence. He actually exited the police car after the collision, approached a number of vehicles trying to get in them. Police say the last vehicle the suspect tried to carjack was this taxi. The assistant manager of City Taxi tells Global News the suspect approached the hood of the cab and broke its windows with his handcuffs. The driver, terrified, refused to leave. That time, the responding officer arrived on scene and arrested the male in situ there. Police say the dogs were unharmed and the suspect was taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Certainly it was an audacious and uh, an audacious move on somebody to take a police car and engage engage this kind of activity. It's just uh, it's extraordinary. Back at the comic book store, the owner is glad no one was seriously hurt and says he's still missing a box of vintage comic books that he'd like to have back. And he actually got away with about one box of comic books about the size of a toaster oven, which we're offering a reward for if anyone finds it. The assistant manager of City Taxi tells me he rarely comments on police investigations involving his drivers, but in this case, he wants people to know that his driver is lucky to be alive. He says he remains in hospital having suffered a panic attack and is undergoing testing to see if he suffered a heart attack. As for the accused, police have yet to release his name nor the long list of charges he is facing.